In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it.
Merry Christmas to you all at this most blessed time of year. My name is Susan Wingfield, and I'm from the Global Missions Church in Lynchburg, Virginia. Tonight, I'm going to read to you the blessed Christmas story as we find it in the Gospel of Luke. Our brother Luke was a Greek, which means that he was a Gentile, and no doubt he came to the Lord as a result of Paul's ministry. Paul being, Luke being a doctor, was exceedingly interested in many details. Therefore, his writing is very much precise and specific when he tells this beautiful story of the coming of God's Son. There are three different scenes in this drama that I will share with you tonight. The first is the coming of the angel Gabriel to Mary. The second is Mary's visit to her cousin Elizabeth. And the last is the night of the birth of our precious Savior Jesus. I will read from the King James Version. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto the city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail thou that art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said to her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found great favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give him the throne of his father, David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kindness, there shall be no end. Then Mary said unto the angel, Well, how shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth hath conceived also a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her who is called barren. But with God, nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. So Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste to see her cousin Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost, and she spake out loud and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of these things which were told her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath done to me great things, and holy, holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. He hath showed strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them of low degree. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he hath sent empty away. He hath helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. And he spake to our fathers, Abraham and his seed forever. The next story, and the final one that I will read, is the blessed story of the birth of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. 
And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth unto Judea, the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone round about them and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, do not be afraid for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all of these things and pondered them in her heart. Now I'd like to read you a Christmas song that was given many years ago. Within a stable in Bethlehem, a tiny babe was born. The Virgin Mary and Joseph nigh to love and keep him warm. The angel came to say of him such peace upon the earth. The glory of God shone all around, announcing the Savior's birth. The shepherds came to worship him and kneel before his bed. The light that shone in darkness there was all around his head. The ox and ass did stand in awe before the manger there. The lambs the shepherds brought to see were still and quiet as air. Do you, O pilgrim, have the room within your heart today to welcome Jesus Christ the Lord to come within and stay? Oh yes, Redeemer, come to me and dwell within my heart and make this earthly temple thine and never more depart and never more depart. Amen and amen. I'll in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are lowing, the baby awakes, the little Lord Jesus no crying he makes. I love thee, Lord Jesus, look down from the sky. And stay by my cradle till morning is nigh. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dead children. 
in thy tender care and take us to heaven to live with thee there. Thrill all 
home. The weary world rejoices for yonder breeze and new and glorious morn fall on your knees. Oh, hear the angel voice. was born oh night divine oh night oh night divine no Sin and error finding till he appeared and a soul feel its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices for yonder breeze. And new and glorious morn fall on your knees. Oh, hear the angel voices of night. When Christ was born, oh, night divine, oh, night, oh, night Before the song started, the world broken hearted was dreamlessly passing the long empty days. Then a dark, lonely hillside was spangled with light, and a song burst into the night. Started the whole world singing a song. The words and the music were there all along. What the song had to say was that love found a way to start the world singing a song. Gently together to make a new 
praise the Lord. We from Sharon Children's Home, Wayanad, India, are sending our warmest thoughts and best wishes for a wonderful Christmas and a happy New Year. May peace, love, and prosperity follow you all in this new year and always. Our boys and girls are singing Christmas songs for you all now. Thanking you. God bless you. Amen. Thank you.
did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy had come to make you new? This child that you delivered would soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would give sight to a blind man. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm a storm with his hand? Did you know that your baby boy had walked where angels trod? And when you kiss your little baby you have kissed the face of God Mary did you know Thanksgiving and 
He is still the reason for the season. He always will be. Singing about a man who was a baby, who became a boy, who became a man. He was born in an obscure village, a child of a peasant woman. He actually grew up in another village where he worked in a carpenter shop until he was 30. And for three years, he was an itinerant, itinerant preacher. He never owned a home. He never wrote a book. He never held an office. He never really had a family of his own. He never went to college. Never set a foot in a big city. He never traveled 200 miles from the place he was born. He did things that usually accompany greatness. He had no credentials but himself. While still a young man, the tide of popular opinion turned against him his friends ran away. Even one of his best friends denied him. He was turned over to his enemies. He went through the mockery of a trial. He was nailed upon a cross between two thieves. While he was dying, his executioners gambled for the only piece of property he had on this earth, and that was his coat. When he was dead, he was laid in a borrowed grave through the pity of a friend. Twenty long centuries have come and gone, and today he is still the centerpiece of the human race and the leader of the column of progress. I'm not far within the mark when I say that all the armies that have ever marched, all the navies that have ever sailed, all the parliaments that have ever sat, all of the kings that have ever reigned, all put together, have not affected the lives on this earth as powerfully as has that one solitary life. 2020 was a proverbial train wreck. 2021 was challenging and difficult. And 2022 is unknown with no great relief in sight. I assure you, you and I can place our lives, our soul, in the hands of God for His provisions for his grace, his strength, his leading. Jesus never changes. His word is true and amen. He is trustworthy. The world, the governments, our society constantly changes like weather patterns. Nothing is permanent except God. Diseases come and go. Life and death comes and goes. Nations comes and goes, but Jesus never changes. We remember the Christmas season with the tradition of giving gifts to one another. Let's take a moment to remember that God is the original gift giver. Isaiah 9 verse 6, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. 
We're also mindful at this Christmas season that there are many that have lost a loved one in the past year. This happy season of Christmas can be bittersweet with the absence of your loved ones. Grief is not a sign of weakness nor a lack of faith. It is the price of love. Let us all remember those near to us that are in a season of mourning, even at this time of Christmas. Let us remember to offer acts of kindness and remembrance to those particularly that are suffering this Christmas because of the loss of loved ones. Isaiah 61 says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. May God bless you, you are loved by an everlasting love. Merry Christmas. Hello, my name is Andy Snoke. And I'm Debbie Snoke. And we wish you a blessed Merry Christmas from Colorado. This is Mervyn Sunbull from North Battleford, Saskatchewan. Irene and I wish you and your family the very best this Christmas, and may God richly bless you in the new year. This is Richard Holt. My wife and I, Marie, are wishing you a very Merry Christmas for this uh, coming season. Uh, we just uh, wish you the very best, and the Lord be with you. I'm David Love from uh, Eastern Tennessee. Uh, my wife, Jan, and I would like to extend to you the warmest and best uh, uh, wishes for a wonderful Christmas season. Uh, we just uh, would also like to, to, to say that uh, we hope that each one of us can take time to, to go back and, as it were, spend some time at the manger worshiping the Christ child and the newborn King. Uh, we hope that in the coming year that all of us will press into the things that God has called us to, uh, that we will stand in readiness and watchfulness for the second coming of our Savior. And uh, we just uh, pray that we'll be able to press into the things that God has called us into in the new year. God bless you. Merry Christmas to all. And know that uh, our Lord is great and we, we worship him this season and are very thankful that we do have a God who loves us and we can be uh, a part of his kingdom. I would like to read uh, 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 two scriptures that would uh, reiterate the way I feel and uh, we feel about this. Matthew 1:23. Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is be interpreted God with us. This day and time, we need God with us more and more through these trying times, and we want you to know that God is with you. In Proverbs 18.10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. Christmas greetings from the Miller household, uh, Terry and Ingrid. We send you blessings galore in this precious time of the year where Jesus is still the reason for the season. And we live in Portage La Prairie, Manitoba, Canada, and Jolly Harbor in uh, Antigua and Barbuda. As they sing uh, in the islands, and you hear it everywhere this time of the year, the wonderful little chorus, he come from the glorious kingdom. God bless you. 
Keep on keeping on. The best is yet to come. Christmas greetings from uh, my wife Cheryl and myself, Darren Olson from Snowy North Battleford. May God bless you this Christmas. I am PJ Matthew and my wife Sushila. We wish you a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I would like to quote a scripture for God so loved the world that he gave his own one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but will have everlasting life. God bless you all. I'm Marcus Hansen from North Vancouver, British Columbia, on the west coast of Canada. My wife Gay and I wish you a blessed Christmas season. And quoting from Isaiah chapter 9, beginning at verse 2, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them a light has shined. And we thank God that the light of God is shining upon us today. And we ask that that same light will be very evident in your homes during this Christmas season. God bless you all. The rest of the season to you all. This is Crafton Lewis speaking. And on behalf of my wife, Joyce Lim, I'd like to just read this verse of scripture from... Uh, Luke chapter 1, verse 31. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and he and shall call his name Jesus. God bless you. Have a wonderful season. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. On behalf of our household, this is Robert Pissad and my wife Anne. We would like to extend season greetings to you. May you have a blessed Christmas, a prosperous and a Holy Ghost filled 19, 2022. May God bless you and keep you. And thank, thanks to God for bringing us into this wonderful move of the Spirit. I encourage you for the, as the time continues, just to stay on the hallelujah side of life, where the glory of God never fades. Greetings from Southwestern Ontario, Canada. My name is Calvin Martin, and TJ, my wife, and I wished everyone a joyous season. We wish to express the sentiment that Paul wrote in Romans 15 and 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless. I am Bernard James from the sunny island of Grenada. My wife Rosalind and I wish everyone a blessed and joyous Christmas and a prosperous new year. Luke 2.10 says, Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. God bless all. Hi, this is Nathaniel Swan from Ontario, Canada, along with my wife, Carol. We would like to wish you a blessed Christmas, whatever situation you are in. May the God of peace cover your heart and may Jesus Christ bring you basketfuls of blessing in this coming new year. Thank you. Hi, my name is uh, Jeff Olson. I'm uh, from North Battleford, Saskatchewan, and I uh, just want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas, and may God bless you all in the new year. I'm Byron Price from Vancouver, Canada. My wife Hazel and I wish you a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and May the peace of God dwell in your hearts in the new year and the years to come. This is Eldon Olson, and on behalf of my wife Sharon, we wish you and yours the very merriest and best of Christmases you've ever had. And if you're having any problem, go back to Jeremiah 33.3, 3, which I think is the cell phone 
of today. And he says, call upon me, call unto me, and I will answer thee and show thee might and great things that thou knowest not. So in the future, when you're needing any help, call upon him in the name of Jesus.